Uh, this is Fessel Khan for Lights Out. And with me over Zoom, delighted to be joined by recently retired Jamie Cox. Jamie, looking happier than ever. Love the Tyson Fury photo in the background. How are you doing? <laughs> Cheers, mate? Sorry? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm well, mate. I'm well. I'm well. Yourself? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Um, Jamie, the, well, I'd say over the last year or so, it was back and forth with you. One minute you'd retired, the next minute you was coming back into boxing. Um, just sort of confirm with us, is you and boxing fully done now or have you got lot, one more last hurrah left in you? Uh, I, I've got a few things lined up uh, in the pipeline for me. A few opportunities, not uh, maybe to do a boxing, but not, not, not actual as a fighter. Um, and uh, some things outside of boxing. Uh, I'm just training twice a day, every day at the minute. I love the sport. I'm actually going to go be sparring in the next in the next uh, hour and a half. I'll be going to spar again for my second session. Uh, so I'm just doing it for routine. And and if if I fancy to fight again, I'll go and fight again. Yeah, because I, I, love, I love boxing. Is it a case of that you need to fight again or would you just do it for the love of the sport? No, I don't need to do it. I don't need to do boxing. I'll just do it because I'll enjoy it. And 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 it's just something that I love to do. And you mentioned, obviously, you, you're you still looking to work inside the boxing, whether that's in the ring or not. But what is it? I mean, am I, am I right in understanding you might be perhaps looking to go into management or maybe training somebody or something else inside boxing? I don't really want to say too much on the... Uh, I, I don't want to say until it's all... In, until it's uh, able to be said, but uh, yeah, be involved in the sport in somewhat, and um, yeah, you know. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully, I can be an addition to to the game in some sort of aspect. Um, let's just talk a bit about obviously the weight that you competed in super middleweight. There's a big fight next weekend um, over in Texas. Canelo yeah. Alvarez, the pound for pound king, takes on the WBO Superweight Champion Billy Joe Saunders. Firstly, what chances are you giving Billy Joe Saunders in winning that fight? Yeah, Billy Joe Saunders. He hasn't lost. He's um, a very, very good amateur, and he was a very, and he's a world champion pro. So you know, he has every chance to win. This is just a boxing match. Um, two people, whoever gets it right, you know, and. Um, and 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 looking at the attributes that Billy Joe carries to the fight, uh, are they are they are they um, statues that that can be tricky for Alvarez? I look and say he carries a lot of, or he possesses a lot of uh, skills that could be tricky for Alvarez. So, yeah, he's definitely um, definitely capable of winning. Obviously, it's going to be his hardest test. It's going to be the hardest fight he's ever had. So we won't know till the fight. When you look at both fighters' records, you start off with Kenel Alvarez. He's beaten Gennady Golovkin. He's beaten Danny Jacobs, uh, Callum Smith. You know, he, he fought Floyd Mayweather. And then some people are sort of saying that Billy Joe Saunders' record, the only biggest win on the, that record, is the likes of the David Lemuse and the Chris, and Chris Eubank Jr. Does it sort of worry you? that Billy Joe Saunders is coming to a certain age of 30 years of age and he's not had that big, decisive career-defining fight so far in his career? Well, he's, uh, he's had a lot of fights, amateur and pro, and he's boxed some good names. I know he's not fought the names of um, Alvarez, uh, and but he's beat everyone that's been put in front of him. Um, so, yeah, we won't know until you take that step up, the next step up. So you can really... I don't think we can really judge it, you know, until we see it. What game plan would you expect Mark Tibbs and Billy Joe Saunders to take into this fight? Because, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, he's, he's, a, he's a southpaw. We've mm -hmm. seen in the past Canelo has been asked questions when, he, when he's fought southpaws. What is the right strategy going into this fight for Billy Joe Saunders? Because he is up against the pound for pound king in Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Billy Joe Saunders is... Canelo's sort of like a box fighter, a counter puncher. 
counter punch a box fighter. And Billy Joe Saunders is uh, is a is more of a slick boxer. And I think th- th- that's their approach. Whatever tactic, you know, they 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 they'd be a bit more detailed. But yeah, to to outbox him, I think you know if it did stop, I don't think he'd be. I don't think the stoppage, unless it was a late one, is uh, on the cards really for, for for Canelo. So I would think it'd be a points points win, which he's more than capable to to do. Given how that, the later rounds. given how that it falls obviously on Cinco de Mayo weekend, and the fight takes place in Texas, where Canelo has fought a number of times, does it worry you that we could be potentially seeing a controversial decision if it does go to the scorecards? Yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, to, like I understand that, but all that matters is what the people see. So, at the end of the day, I think, well, to myself, I think, even if you lose on points, but you win, you won, and you know you won, and that's all that matters. Maybe uh, that that that's all that matters. You, you know, if you win or lose, and that's all that matters. What's your prediction for the fight next weekend, then? Me, you know, I don't want to make no predictions, but can Billy Joe Saunders do it? I, 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 the best Billy Joe Saunders could pull it all off for sure, yes. And, um, you know, he has a tribute. So I sparked Canelo for four weeks and um, he has a tribute that could tr- trouble him, but it's got to be a pinpoint Billy Joe Saunders. So, you know, Billy Joe Saunders just has to bring the 100% A game. Well, it's a fight that we're all really looking forward to and who knows what could happen on the night. Um, let's just yeah. talk a bit about the man behind you. I really, really like that posting you've got, the Tyson Fury. You, um, the whole Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua saga is still ongoing. We heard Bob Harron come out and say that the fight's dead in the water. We heard that he heard saying that the fight's going in the right direction. What, what's your thoughts on everything right now in terms of the, those two fighting each other? Uh, I... I don't. I wouldn't know. You know, only the the, the people that are doing the deal would know what the crack is, and all this it, until I see the paper signed. And uh, you know, you don't know the what's said. You know, my they might be saying yellow, but it means green. So you don't. You, you know, it's. But 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 I think the fight has to happen for sure because because it's um you know for for for, for to unify all the bouts. Uh, uh, between an Irish and in Ireland and UK to, to have one heavyweight champion that has all the bouts, it'd be a travesty if it didn't happen. Who would you say is the A side going into this fight, given the fact that they both are world champions, they're both two yeah. in boxing? Who would you have the A side of going into this fight? On, on credentials, I think Tyson Fury all day, for sure. You know, popularity, most probably. Uh, is Anthony Joshua, but when it comes to credentials uh, in the boxing world, I think Tyson Fury all day. You know, when 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 Tyson Fury was fat out of shape, well, first off, he went to Germany and beat the man, dethroned the man in Germany when he was 10 year reigning world champion. You know, he went in his backyard, won it. Uh, Joshua won because he got the belt stripped, so they were Tyson's belts at the end of the day. Then he didn't fight Wilder. For me, like what, what he's Tyson Fury was in a bad place, and uh, first fight he went to American fought him straight away. So, you know, I, I look at these sort of things. Why well, we, you're a multi-millionaire? What do you want? Two million, an extra million? I want the belts. When I'm a millionaire or multi, a million pounds, I'd rather be the legacy than the an extra million on top of a hundred million. So, um, you know, at the end of the day. <clears throat> That's the way I look at it, you know. So Tyson went over there and did the job twice. Considering what both fighters have achieved, obviously Tyson Fury, two-time world champion, Anthony Joshua, two-time world champion, and of course, former Olympic gold medalist. Do you still, do you think even with what Tyson's had to go through in the past, do you think he still gets the public's love? Uh, I, 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 I think when you look, uh, yeah, he's, he's loved, of course, he's loved. He's, uh, he's a great advocate. But I think he's like chalk and cheese, and and it depends on the certain people if they look a bit 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 more deeper than the exterior of what you know they're about. But Tyson's a really good man, you know. I know, I know, I know Tyson, and um, he's a really good guy, really good, charismatic. 
he's doing a great thing for the sport. The, 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 you know what he does and uh, the, the, the effort he gives to the people. You can't knock it. So, so, so is Joshua though. Joshua's a very good role model. So, you know, he's a very good role model for the sport of boxing. He doesn't play up. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's two great characters in the sport of boxing. That's well said. And it's definitely a fight everybody wants to see. Just fingers crossed it can get over the line now. Um, sure. Maybe, anything else you'd like to add before we bring the interview to an end? No, I just, I just hope, obviously, I think... Um, you know, I think uh, it's going to be a great fight. I think it could be what Billy Joe Saunders win the fight. If that'd be the biggest upset, I think maybe from uh, UK Irishman, UK and Ireland. Sorry, uh, to to to, to um, in boxing, UK boxing, because you know, uh, I think since Randolph Turpin beat uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. Um, you know, going over to America and boxing someone this magnitude of uh, of uh, Canelo. So uh, yeah, I, it'd be a great feat for Billy Joe Saunders to pull this off. Well, it's arguably the biggest fight of his career, and it's a big task. But listen, uh, anyone who knows the sport will know what Billy Joe Saunders is capable of. So sure, yeah, see, as you said, it's a fight. It's between two people, and anything can happen. Let's just hope we get a fair fight, and we hope it lives up to expectations. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm really looking forward to it. Tyson, there's some big fights even. I, I, I just before I flicked onto the Zoom call, I just be, you know, I'm in trouble. I, I do like Derek Chisora and stuff, and I just seen the controversy there was going on <laughs> down there that he's going to walk out. And uh, yeah, Derek is always, it's always exciting when Derek's around. So yeah, it's, there's, there's, there's a good couple of weeks of boxing coming up. It wouldn't be a fight week without Derek Chisora unless there was something going on, something controversial going on, right? <laughs> No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> right, right, listen, Jamie, thank you very much for your time, mate. Uh, appreciate you getting back to us as quick as you did and uh, letting us grab an interview. And hopefully uh, once this whole lockdown pandemic situation is calmed down, it'll be a face-to-face -face interview with you. No problem, Faisal. Take care, man. No problem. Jamie Cox, thank, thank you very much for talking to Lights Out, mate. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Cheers, mate. <laughs>